Okay, so now we're actually going to start recording. Okay, so this is what the basic web GUI looks like for this matrix here. Our matrix today has our IP address of 10.1.20.105. Um, you can control the settings here, change the settings, whatever you like. All right, so I've set this one already to DHCP. Uh, by default, it comes static with the different IP address. You can use the RS-232 or the LAN cable connected to a computer to access this and then change it to DHCP or keep it static, whatever you like. Okay, so first thing you have to do is go into your home assistant here, go down to settings, go down to add-ons, and go into Samba Share. Well, I already have it here, but you would search Samba Share. You would find it, download and run this Samba Share, have it start on boot. And then once you have that set up, it's pretty much it for that. Now you can go over here. I'll have this Google Drive link on the description and here in links you're gonna go here to the zip file location copy this control c control v it's gonna lead you to here you're gonna download this pi script here once you have that downloaded you're going to open that file this is the file have that open there and then you're going to open another file explorer page and you're going to go into your home assistant network so that's going to be let me drag it over here you're going to go into your home assistant network backslash backslash and then my ip address is 10.1.20.133 yours may be different so once you're in here now you're just going to look something like this. You're going to go into your config folder. Open that. We're going to create a new folder. And the new folder we're going to create is going to be called custom components. I already have mine here. You're going to open custom components. It's going to be an empty folder. You're going to create this second folder here called PyScript. Then once you create PyScript, open that folder. And you're going to drag and drop all of this over here. That's pretty much it. And then you're done with the zip file. You can close it once you drag it here. Now, once you have that, you can go back to config. Now you're back in your config folder. You're gonna make a second folder and you're gonna call it PyScript. I already have mine here. So you go into PyScript. It's gonna be empty, but you're gonna add the PyScript that I have here on the drive. This is it right here. So everything's pretty much already set. All you have to do is add your matrix IP here. So make sure you know that. Let me show you how I have mine set up. There. Here I have my matrix IP set up and now it, it knows to communicate with the home assistant. So that's basically everything you have to do with the file explorer side. Now you're going to go into the home assistant side here. You have that all set up. Okay, so we have our matrix set up and we're going to start by making the basic action buttons, which are like power off, power on, stuff like that. So we're gonna go down to settings, automations and scenes, scripts, add a script, create new script. We're gonna name this power off. There you go. We're going to add action. And here you look up pi script. And you're going to see here pi script avico underscore command. That's the one that we want. And then you click that. Click over here to the three buttons. Edit in YAML. And you, you can clear this here. Now, back in our Google Drive, we made it super simple. We're going to have here action button. You click that. Open this. And here is everything that you need. All you have to do is add your command, whatever you want, and then the IP of your matrix. So we're going to go here. 
edit in YAML. We can paste that here. So our command here is pwoff period. And we're going to add our IP 10.1.20.105. We can save that, go back, and let's test it. So if we click run, our matrix should power off. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. Okay, so we have it off the matrix. And then to power it back on, you already have the script made here. So you can just duplicate this and edit it a little bit. So we named it power on. I'm going to go down here, edit in YAML. We're going to change this to power on, period. Let's save that. So we have our off, we have our on. We're going to click run. And you're going to see our matrix power back on and our inputs are back. Oh, looks like the Xbox is finally done updating. Okay, so we have our power on and power off buttons. Next, I'm going to show you how to do um, the inputs so you can control the inputs of the matrix. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the outputs and input buttons. So we're going to show you output one and you would go down to settings, click on dashboards, add dashboard, new dashboard from scratch. We're going to name this output one. So this will control whatever inputs you have on output one. So open that. Click on the button, I mean, on the pencil, the three buttons there, raw configuration editor. You can clear this. Now here, I've made it super easy. Go to the drive output to input buttons. Click on that. We have output one to input buttons, and then you're going to add your IP. So copy all of this. You're going to paste it here. You see here where it says your matrix IP. Just make sure to put your matrix IP 10.1.20.105. That is mine. Yours may be different. I'm going to paste it in every single one. So this is input one, input two, input three, and input four. Save. Exit this. You're done. You can rename if you want. But now we have output one, which is our top left. Turn on our Xbox here. So we have output one, which is our top left uh, monitor here. So input one, it's already set, which is our Xbox. And then our input two is the computer running the YouTube video. So if we click the input two, you see it switch over to now the same YouTube video. And that's pretty much it. You're just going to repeat that for outputs two, three, and four. So let me make quickly do that. Okay. So now you've created the inputs to all your outputs. You have one, two, three, four. And you have the two scripts or whatever script you want to power on and off the matrix. So we're going to make one dashboard to put everything together so it's easy to navigate. So you go down to settings, dashboard, add dashboard, new dashboard from scratch. We're going to name this one four by four. And I click create. I'm going to click open. Click the pencil. We're going to add a card at the bottom right. We're going to add a button. You can clear the entity. We're going to name this one output one. Yeah, put it together. We're going to add an icon so it's easy to see. Little house. We're going to click here, tap action. We're going to click navigate. Then navigation path. We're going to look for our output one which is, this is it right here. There you go. Save. Done. So we click output one and it sends us here to our output one, which then we can switch. Okay. So we're going to repeat that same process for outputs two, three, and four.
And we need to add our power on and off here. So very similar setup. Pencil, add a card, button, clear this. Let's name this PW off. Let's say power. Look for something that represents power. Let's say power off. And our tap action here is going to be call service. And the service, we named our Pi script. What did we name it? Off, right? So here you go. Script, power off. This is the one. We're going to save that. Done. And let's add the power on too. So we can turn off our matrix. There you go. And we can power it back on. And then we have our inputs, which we can switch back and forth. I'll put two, put everything over two. It's very simple. Okay, so now we have the individual outputs to the individual inputs that you can choose to switch to. You could also switch all the outputs to whatever input that you want, setting a specific scene. And it's actually very simple to do. You can use the same Pi script that you've used here. So to do that, you can go down to settings, automations and scenes, scripts, and it's basically just redoing this. So. We can just duplicate this. We're going to rename it to all to one, since we already have our matrix set to all to two. Okay, so all to one, everything stays the same. Drop this down here, and then our action here is going to change. So according to our manual, that is the input that you want, 0, 1, and then all, capital A, two L's, period. Then we're going to save our script. We can go back, run it. There you go. Now we have our Xbox, which is half asleep. So let's hit switch it back to two. We can duplicate this. We're gonna name this all to two. Drop this down here. Let's edit this to two. Save. Go back. You can click run. Now it all goes back to two. And then do the same thing to add it to our dashboard here. Pencil, add a card, button, clear this. We're going to name this all to one. Let's look for a one icon. Tap action. We're going to do call service. And the service is going to be called. Look for our all to one right here. Save. Let's do our number two. Tap action, call service. Look for a call service of all to two. We're gonna save, done. Okay, so we have our outputs, which lead us to our inputs. Oh, it's already on two, <laughs> sorry. Let's go back to one. Yeah, see? And then we have buttons like this, which will switch everything to whatever input or output you want. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple.